Hi, my name is Braden Woodard. I'm going to speak about the Smart Totem Utility System. What is it? This electrical system is uh, the future for smart cities. The electrical system works solely on renewable energy, um, primarily solar, and enables cities, universities, or businesses to be connected with the newest technology. This system produces lighting, public safety features, charging station, and Wi-Fi 4G and 5G communications. How does it work? Uh, the solar canopy uh, on top of the pole of the power system uh, charges the entire system and allows it to be a standalone device. Uh, how it's a standalone device is uh, it has its own 5 kilowatt solar array on top of the pole. Uh, 5 kilowatt is actually the average size of a residential uh, photovoltaic system. Uh, the battery storage on it uh, is a 44 kilowatt hour battery storage, uh, which is primary selling point. Um, there's a lot of systems out there that can produce the solar energy, but not a lot of systems actually have a method of storing it. So as you can see from the image on the right, uh, there's cells that separate each structure. Um, there's a power, which uh, is a minimum of 100 amps and 240 uh, amp, and battery backup as well. Uh, the connectivity, uh, there's LTE, 4G, 5G uh, distribution cell. Um, there's also a thermal management system within the structure that keeps equipment within operating range. The security um, features in this system um, has built-in sensors to monitor physical access and internal SDN for network isolation. This SDN system as well allows for cloud-based computing. Uh, it facilitates network management and enables programming efficiently um, through network performance monitoring as well as performance monitoring. The system can be monitored 24-7 from any device uh, that connects to the network. So the features in this system, of course, uses solar energy to power the entire system uh, and delivers a 4G, 5G LTE, um, or there's an upgraded option for Wi-Fi. Uh, this is especially important um, if we were to do a university or business application. Um, it could be its own access points. The public safety features, so it provides lighting as well as cameras. Also, it can be connected to other smart totems for entire university infrastructure or smart city infrastructure. The battery backup storage uh, also is a option, and it again, that's that's a main selling point by it being able to store the solar energy that is created. There's also an information kiosk with an interactive display, uh, which can be very useful for a smart city and can produce uh, an interactive bus route, for example, in a city application or maps or information centers for universities. As you can see from the image on the left, there's also an electric vehicle charging station uh, wire that you can see on the image uh, that's actually for charging the electric powered vehicles which is paramount in, in smart city applications. It actually promotes people to buy electric vehicles. So there's more uh, opportunities to charge them. So the monitoring, uh, like I said, uh, the, actually Totem has their own OS operating system. It's a cloud-based system that allows users to monitor, control, and optimize performance using any system, laptop, tablet, or smartphone. Of course, this unit would have to be connected to a network or Wi-Fi. But by, but by being able to see this information, a smart city would be able to see their actual benefits and see the impact of the renewable energy has had uh, for carbon offset uh, for also peak demand and energy use. So the benefits, just to review, uh, it's renewable energy, of course, hopefully by 2020, to between 2025, 
we're going to see a huge jump in renewable energy. Um, this is great for storage for this solar energy. It's a clean design, as you can see. It's a long pole, very futuristic. Uh, there's also a different design that has uh, like petals or almost looks like a palm. Uh, there's also public safety features, enables, you know, like CCTV now, um, but in the future, of course, they would be on this electrical system. Uh, there would be more electric vehicle charging locations for electric vehicles, which of course will benefit everyone. And these are my references. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thank you.